What is going on guys? George here and today we are back for an episode of Garage Edition. Hope everybody's having a great day. Today we're going to be working on Colossus as always. Be working on him for a little bit. Um, so today we're actually going to start working on my door panels. Now I told you I had a pretty good build I was going to do. So this is one of them. So we're going to start doing custom door panels for the front. Um, still really don't know the layout. But as we go, you know, we'll figure it out. So we got to go pick up some matting, big matting, uh, fiberglass matting. Was going to roll a line, but I slacked off and didn't. So I'm just going to pick it up at Walmart. You can actually pick up a big pack of it. Not too big, but enough. So I think we're going to get three packs. That way we put the matting down and stuff, and it makes basically a mold of the door panel. Then we can uh, build on it and not destroy the door panel. Anyways, guys, let's run and get some matting, and uh, we'll be right back. So we have air stuff that we bought. Now I bought this matting, fiberglass mat. I bought three of them. Here's the other one. Then I bought some paint brushes. One, uh, these are just like chip brushes. Uh, one small one, two medium size. I think these are a two inch and a one inch. Uh, this is so when we do the bigger area. So basically what this does is we're going to take this right here and when you take it, you can lay it on your door panel, put resin on it. You put two or three layers, it actually makes like it contours to the door. So the curves and everything, this will have in it. That way when we trim around it, it'll be a perfect fit onto the door. It's like we're making a mold of a certain spot. So I'm going to go ahead and show you what we're doing. all right so we need some grease on that door because it's squeaking all right so i'm thinking i've been trying to think of what we're going to do here now i, I know down here we're going to get rid of this pocket because i don't use it as you see that was just a piece of paper from the decal um so i'm going to put i think four six and a half down here and it will fit in this pocket kind of like we did the the first gen ram and then here this right here actually comes off you got to drill out the little tabs behind it so you have to take this off and you can actually take this off same with the other side so what we're going to do is we'll take this off um we'll leave this plugged up but just back there that way we can still roll up and down the window but we'll have to take the door panel off to drill those tabs out to get this off but here's what we're wanting to do if you see there's an outline all the way around here now thinking about making a mold, even down in here, so our mold will be of this. Probably two layers of fiberglass matting. Then we can peel it off and do what we can do. We'll sand it smooth. We'll probably paint it the uh, purple metallic like we did the headlights and everything like that. So we'll probably do that. And then we'll put new fabric on this. Probably put just black leather or we might actually put white leather because i have some of that well it's fake but you know it's that i mean it's not fake it's a from a, a it's italian leather <clears throat> yeah gucci anyways um <laughs> we'll put some uh pleather on this probably do white to make it stand out so because the truck has you know white purple and black on it so we'll probably end up doing that um but this right here i'll be like purple and then right here we'll do is we'll just cover this it'll be like you know it's a, a panel we're making but we'll have like one six and a half here turn and then all this will be sand smooth and painted i think that will look pretty good and we'll still have the stock door panel that we really ain't cutting up except for cutting this pocket out because it doesn't detach so we'll be doing that so i think that's the plan all right so we're going to take the door panel off you got two phillips heads right there that holds the door the handle so it doesn't do that we got some change in there too that's what's uh that's what's supporting this video all that change in there anyways uh so we're gonna take this off now this will actually clip out i'm gonna leave this um 
hooked up. We'll just tuck it down in there so I can up it down the window. Now this one will have it off. I'll show how we'll cover this. And I think we're not gonna do white because that would get dirty real fast, especially when you put your arms on it. So we'll take this carpet off and probably just put like a, kind of like the black leather. And uh, I think that'll look good because it'll match everything. Now door panel, we, we'll have to clean this with water and soap. That way the tape and stuff will stick. But I'll show you later on. So let's go ahead and take all this off and take your door panel off and take the other one off to uh, take it apart. All right, hardest part of this whole build is gonna be getting that plug out from back here. It's really hard to get out. I actually took a screwdriver and just pushed up on this right here, pushed it down because it's hard to get your thumb up in there. So that's the hardest part of the whole thing. All right, so here are the little tabs we gotta drill out. Got a half inch drill bit. Basically, we'll just put it there and drill it out. Make sure you don't drill all the way through because you will hit back there. It's the plastic, so you don't want to drill through that piece right there. This has already been broken loose. Now, I didn't do that, so must have came loose. And I think that is, yeah, that's broke loose. That one's broke. And it's probably where people's pulled up to get up in a truck. I guarantee it's why. Um, so basically, we're going to go ahead and drill out the rest. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so when I went ahead and took this off, um, I actually just put my knife down there, pressed that frontwards, that slid out from right there to here, because I want to hook this back up to the door because we this would be this would take a couple of days to do because you have a lot of drying time in between. Uh, so this right here, we're actually gonna keep this because we'll be putting some uh, leather on that. That go back on the door. We'll just actually tuck it down in there. So basically. I'm wanting to take this off. Now, if you see, you're like, oh, well, that comes off. No, it gives you a little pocket, but down here is where we're going to have to cut it all the way around. And we'll cut it and everything and uh, grind it. But I want to go ahead and make the mold for this first. Because once we make the mold and stuff for this, that way when we cut that, it won't make this weak or anything. We'll still have the mold goes this perfect. So that will be last, but we're going to go here first. All right, one of the things we want to do, we want to actually wipe everything down really good. Make sure you know get all the grease and fingerprints, everything off of that, um, and dust. If <laughs> I don't drive this thing a lot, so it does collect a lot of dust. Now, um, you just want to wipe it down. You can do soap and water. Let's get it good because we are going to put tape on it, and you want to tape the stick good, so you don't want to have any, like I said, dirt or anything like that that would cause the tape not to stick. We will be layering it a lot, so we're actually going to tape. We'll actually go above where we want, so it'll be coming here, down through here. Because we want to go over so we have room so we can go ahead and cut it how we want. And once you take the mold off, you'll be able to see where it actually stops in this stuff. You can't really see it that good here, but when the, you have the mold in your hand, you'll be able to see it good. And we can cut it, put it on here, check it. And once your fiberglass and stuff, you have to add a piece or something, you can. It's just a little bit harder to do, but it is possible. So I'm going to go ahead and finish wiping this off. But first we'll take a break because it is burning up out here. It's like West Virginia, but it's been hot the last couple of days, like 86 and 87, which is really hot here. So we got the shade, but my shade doesn't go all the way out to my truck. Definitely gonna have to build a garage. All right, so we got both sides wiped down. The other side's wiped down as well. Now we got the rings. Now these are the size rings that we're gonna use, same size we use in the rear door, like I said. Here's kind of how it's going to be set up. But we're going to have four of them. And they'll probably be, hmm, I don't know. I don't know if we want, I'll probably just do them straight like this, just straight all the way across. This will be cut out so you'll have where these are mounted all the way back for the uh, 
speaker diff. Um, so we'll have to put them all the way down through there. Of course, that'll be later on. Now up here, we were just going to put one, but it was just going to be kind of an accent piece, but it was going to make one speaker. I'm thinking about maybe an eight, but I don't know yet. Um, just to have to really wait and see. Because if I know if I put an eight right here, I'll have to probably run like bolts through to the door just so it will be positioned really good. Because um, you know, door panel ain't the strongest to actually hold stuff on. So we'll definitely have to see. But I think, because right there it's a six, uh, let's see, what do they have in here? I think it's a six by nine is what they have in here. It might be. Because I know on the Super Ram, it might be a six and a half. Because on Super Ram, I did a six and a half all the way around. Because I know the back has six for nines. Anyways, uh, but I think might do an eight right here. I think that would be pretty cool to have eight and then four, six, uh, six and a halves. And of course, eight and then four, six and a halves. So I think that might be what we'll do. But I got everything here. I got some uh, masking tape. We're going to outline where we need to tape in and at. So let's go ahead and do that. Also... I'm really like, one, you know, I know what I'm doing, but it's like, as this right here, I'm still, when I'm building a door panel, I really make up the stuff as I go. You know, if I'm like, oh, we'll change this out, because I was going to put a six and a half, might do an eight, but we might do a six and a half. So it's like the plan's are always changing, but I kind of have a general idea of what I want to look like. So, but plans are always changing. So if you see something and I change it, don't be like, oh my God, what is he doing? It's just, I make it as I go. So yeah so let's go ahead and uh, mess this off so basically we want to take this and do kind of like a general area now like i said if we're doing right here you want to go above it so it does overlap it so you have plenty you don't want to just go right here because when you're laying the mat and stuff you got to do it in pieces to get curves because you can't take that whole mat put it on here because the matting doesn't like contouring the curves right here you put a piece here and wet it down sometimes it'll pop back up so you have to tear a lot of pieces tear it and stuff so and i also have a roller if i was to get the bubbles and stuff out we might use it on this i don't know because there's a lot of curves but uh let's go ahead and basically right here is our angle so we want to go up above it so we have plenty of room that's why i said we wash it I might have said it go farther out because right here you feel that little slant right there and that's where the dash goes but we want to go ahead and tape it off where we want it to go guys so we got everything taped up now i do recommend if you we started using like the uh regular tape i don't even know what you'd call this just the clear tape um i started using this but it seems like it didn't want to stick very well so I went to get uh, i went and resorted to masking tape now i didn't want to i used this for like the outline but the thing is it was it's not very wide um, I did have some this wide with a which uh, would have worked a whole lot better. I actually haven't even started the door, but I am going to go get wide masking tape. So I do suggest you have wide and narrow. Apparently, I thought I was ready and I wasn't. But anyways, I, everything's taped off as you see. So all we have to do now basically is take carnauba wax, and I'll show you what I have, and wax this real good. And that is so that the mold will release from the tape really good now it will still pull some of the tape off of stuff and after you do the you put your you lay your glass and everything down this right here um the tape will leave sticky residue on the door even more because what happens is like the resin stuff reacts and it gets really warm um 
so that's what's going to happen but this protects from the door panel and everything but once you pull the tape off and stuff just like i did on the back door use goof off that's the best stuff i think it's yes yeah, goof off that is the best stuff in the world to take tape and everything residue off of it so make sure you have like, some of that and i have that so i'm ready for that but uh yeah it took over an hour to do this because it was that small tape which sucked all right, so this is the wax that I always use. It's the Brazilian Carnuba Cleaner Wax. I use this on a lot of my molds that I made, like on front of the Superman uh, Super Ram. I have a Superman symbol. I use that as like, this is kind of like a mold release wax. Now they have actual wax that you can do it, but it's really expensive. This, I've seen a lot of people use this and I've used it and it works really well. Now, of course, when you do a mold, um, now you can do the extra step and put like pva on there it's like kind of like a it's a parting film that dries so it comes off but i use that mostly when you make like molds with gel coat and stuff like that this right here we're just making a door panel easy it's we don't want the easy way so you don't have to order nothing special or anything so this i actually got this at walmart's mother's this is like nine dollars a can but it's really good so make sure you got like carnuba wax i i don't know if turtle wax or anything would work I haven't tried it with turbo wax. I've just, when I started this and stuff, I always read use carnuba wax, and a lot of people's like, hey, use this stuff. It smells funky, but it's got one of those smells that smells weird, but you're like, hmm, kind of like it. But just regular wax and everything. I, I regular, you know, it's just carnuba wax. Um, so that's what we'll be putting on over the tape, so it will come off even better. Um, but it will still stick when you put the resin. It'll still stick on there. It won't like fall off or anything like that. Now we do have to tape up the other door. But I'm actually going to run and go get some tape. And by the time I do that, it's going to be evening. So I'm actually going to end the video here. So basically, we're, we done did the prepping step. The next steps will be waxing. And then putting the, uh, laying the mat down and everything. Laying glass, as they say. Um, and putting everything down. So the next video will be... Um, putting the matting down and everything like that so we done did the prep next is the matting and then after that we can do you know the sanding and everything so it should be at least three to four videos and you'll see all the door panels come come to life anyways guys i hope you enjoyed the video if you did make sure you hit that like button make sure you punch that subscribe button you thought i was gonna hit that anyways guys this is george and i'm out of here